everyone, Shoni from Shoni Gaming here, and I, today I'm going to show you how to add custom waypoints to Navigraph. Um, it is pretty hard to actually make a custom waypoint in Navigraph, but it is not impossible. Uh, would have been easier if you basically could right click and add a waypoint, but in this case Navigraph does not support that. So yeah, there is a way to do this, and it's a bit of a roundabout way. But it is possible. So let me show you guys how to do this. First off, let's head over to Navigraph right here. As you can see, this is Navigraph. And what we are doing today is, for instance, we want to do a flight from, from La Rochelle to Toulouse, but we want to fly over Lourdes right there. Now, if I switch from the world map to the high-end route and I click right click, Usually I could, for instance, select a, a, a waypoint right there. That's easy, but that's actually quite a way off. If I select that waypoint right there and I switch back to world map, that's near to lose, but it's actually not to lose. So yeah, uh, or Lourdes, sorry, Lourdes. So yeah, that that's, uh, that's a bit of a bother. So we don't want that actually. So let's remove that one. What we can do, however, as I said, no low, low, uh, low route, end route or no high end route waypoints near it. What we can do is, for instance, if I head back to the world map and I say, well, let's create a new flight first. Let's do that. All right, new flight, manual input, and we are flying from La Del there to Toulouse. Right there. All right, create a flight. There we go. All right, that's a nice flight right there. And um, yeah, we still want to go to Lourdes. That's pretty hard to do, actually. So how do we go about this? Well, first things first, there is a way to actually type in a route. If I type in the route, you will see the uh, La Rochelle airport right here. DCT means direct to LFPO Toulouse right there. Let's keep that in mind. Let's keep that in mind. Now, first, what we are going to do is we are going to switch to uh, Google Maps. And we are going to look up Lourdes in Google Maps. There is Lourdes right there. Zooming in, zooming in, as you guys can see, there is Lourdes. Now, how do I go about for creating that custom waypoint? Well, first, what we need to do is to get the longitude and latitude of the waypoint that you want. So if you are on Google Maps and you click, for instance, right there, not on the waypoint, no, so you do not select, for instance, that, because then you can't select the length, longitude and waypoint. You're selecting it a little bit off the right or the left. No problem right there. You will see a little box coming up right there. And if we click that little number at the bottom, the longitude and latitude, we actually get a longitude and latitude right here, as you guys can see right there now those two are actually pretty important this longitude and latitude you can actually uh, input into the um, uh, planning tool of uh, microsoft flight simulator and it will create a custom waypoint for you at that location keep that in mind but this is also the one we need for navigraph so we will copy this to for instance a notepad i've got that right here notepad right there now if i enter this number into navigraph that will not work we need to edit it a little so we have that one as the original let's copy it again and now we have to change a few things first of all we have the longitude right here the latitude right there so it's 430554.4 north to 0, 0213.0 west this number could also be negative if it's east. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. But for now, it is west. Now, how do we go about in creating a custom waypoint for Navigraph? Well, what we do is we start out with the second copied number and we place the north in front of it. We remove the degrees of the first line and everything after that up until the end we remove as well. Now we place the west mark right there. We place a double zero and we basically remove the space, 
we remove the degree, degrees and remove that as well up until the W. So basically we remove this entire piece right here and this entire piece right there. That's what we do. Now, if we copy this number straight here and we head back to Navigraph, there we are. Now I go into type route. Now I want to, this to be in between those, fly, those two waypoints right there, in between those two airports. So what I do is I place it after DCT and make sure there is a space right there. Now, if I save it, you actually see it on screen right there. If we zoom in, that is where the actual waypoint is. And you can add as many as you like, as long as you keep adding them in front or behind that. And that is how you basically create a custom waypoint in Navigraph. So guys, I, uh, I hope you helped you out a little bit and uh, made things a little bit clearer for you. Until the next time, see ya.